the reaction if you walked up to me and said, hey, do you support killing babies that are already born? No. Yeah. What kind of insanity is that? So this gets picked up by Texas Right to Life. Mm -hmm. Looks at this, is absolutely amazed at what's going on, sends this out an email blast. And then the Austin Statesman and PolitiFact pick this up, and they're going to do an objective analysis of your Man on the Street report. Here's their objectivity. They describe Infowars.com as the reporting project shepherded by conspiracy theorist Alex Jones. We're not a news site. <laughs> <laughs> a reporting project, a reporting and then they talk about you millions. as being the, the sports jacketed man in shades. So yeah, the fact that I have on a sports <laughs> jacket and shades means that I'm going to make people feel more welcome to murdering babies. Yeah, uh, this guy that wrote this article is out of his mind. So this is this is Politica Facts objective analysis of that report. <laughs> now that they say that at your request, you emailed them the uh, page listing the people who signed it, 13 <laughs> people who signed it, and they go in and they pronounce this as being partially accurate but lacking important context they only talk to three well four people out of the uh, 13 uh, one of them says that they do support the concept but for quote unquote complicated reasons they don't explain what those complicated reasons are, why somebody would s still say that when questioned on the phone they say yeah I, I support abortions up to the age of five and then talk about what some of the other people said well, well imagine this a guy who's writing an article is calling you about something that you signed Mm -hmm. And then saying, are you really for killing babies up until five years old? What do you think a college kid's response is going to be to that? Yeah. Of course they're going to retract that right off the bat. There, there was a lady who wants to be a politician, mm -hmm. and I made her clip ex ex extra long just so PolitiFact and all of them can watch right now and see how long she read that. And she's the one. Uh, the first one that they talked to? Yeah. The, Danielle? Yeah. She is the one who wanted to be a politician and said that. Had I fully understood the actual position, um, you know, I wouldn't have signed this. I was in a uh, hurry to get to class. Hey, you know, I think that's exactly the kind of person we need in office. That's exactly the kind of person we got in Congress right now. They say, hey, if I would have read the bill, I would have never done it, but we had to get it passed by Thursday. Well, this is the so thing, though. They said, look, <laughs> look right here. She's sitting behind another person signing, waiting. It doesn't like she's in a hurry to me. She's having a conversation with me. But, oh, she's in a, a, a very big hurry to get to class. No, she sat there the longest out of anyone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And had a conversation with me. Okay, so she's the one signing it right now. Yes. By this looking at it, she's in. Yeah. So while this other person was signing it, she's talking to you about this concept. I'm asking her what she's going to do. She says she wants to be a future politician. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the thing. We don't. We don't. We're not teaching critical thinking anymore in American universities or in schools. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not my fault. If you like to use Facebook, but on January 1st, you decide to go accept the new user terms and services, and then one day one of your nudie photos off your phone gets uh, leaked out somewhere, it's not my fault. Guess what? You hit accept. Mm -hmm. When you sign something, you endorse it. That's your mark saying, hey, I fully understand this. I'm backing this. So as an adult, you're in school. When you read that, you sign that. You can't come back on that. That's what you did. So that's another issue as well right there. People need to learn to read what they're doing. If they're saying they're not reading, but these people clearly, you can see in the video, read what they were doing and then signed it. And as you pointed out, when somebody contacts them personally and says, are you really sure that this is really what you wanted to do after the fact? We're doing a news report on this and I'm from PolitiFact and yeah. I want to know it. One of these guys still comes back and says, uh, you know, hey, I do support it. Uh, Stephanie Forsberg said that, but a, a guy that they talked to, Joseph, said, well, quote, if the child's already born, then aborting the child is kind of wrong, kind of wrong, <laughs> <laughs> kind of wrong. See, they can't even get to the idea well, that it's that it's murder. And I think for the longest time, you know, I, I talked to my wife about it at the time that she was working with a pro-life organization and saying, if they really want to change people's minds, get people to understand what's going on, they need to fund a better imaging system. And we now have that 4D ultrasound lets you see three dimensional pictures of the baby in the mother. You can see it's fully formed. It's moving around. You can see that now. You have no excuse to think that this is some evolutionary form of development. That was yeah. something that, that goes all the way back to uh, uh, the 1800s where you had uh, somebody who was trying to sell Darwin's theory of evolution, came up with the idea, idea that uh, ontology recapitu uh, phylogeny recapitulates ontology, I think is the way it went. It's essentially saying they're going through evolutionary stages. So if you abort this child, you're not aborting a human, you're aborting a baby fish or you're aborting a bird or something like that, something in the lower form. 
those drawings that he came up with have been shown to be a lie. Everything about this is based on a lie. We're going to talk a little bit more with Joe Biggs about this report right after the break. We're going to talk about Snopes. How did they become the arbiters of truth? Where did they come from? Who are these guys? We're going to Snope Snopes. Stay with us. We'll be right back. This holiday season, give the gift that keeps on giving an in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. With your very own freeze dryer, you'll be able to freeze dry the food your family loves. Because we live in uncertain, difficult times, what better way to show your love for your family than to buy them a gift that helps them preserve food they can use now or in 25 years. Go to HarvestRight.com and find out how you can get your in-home freeze dryer. Layaway is available. That's HarvestRight.com. We love that you're passionate about GCN. And whether you're a listener, a business owner, or a radio industry professional, we've redesigned the new GCN newsletter to keep you in the know. Get updates on your favorite GCN shows and hosts. Go to GCNlive.com and click on the banner in the upper left corner. Just for signing up, you're automatically entered for monthly giveaways. Start receiving your newsletter today. The future of talk radio. GCN. It's very easy to be a criminal. All you need to burglarize a home is one simple household tool, a pair of scissors. If your home security system can be compromised by a criminal using scissors, then you're making it easy for them. Almost every home security system, even those sold by big name companies, has a weakness. The phone line. You shell out 1500 bucks, get locked into a long-term contract, and think you're safe. But a burglar can destroy your alarm in seconds with one snip. And when a burglar cuts your phone line, you're Defenseless. defenseless. Simply Safe Home Security is the smarter choice. Built by Harvard engineers, Simply Safe uses a wireless connection to call the cops. Scissors can't cut it, and that means your home stays safe. 24/7 professional monitoring is under $15 a month with no contract. Simply Safe Home Security keeps you safer than the other guys for half the cost. Protect your home with the alarm you can trust. Simply Safe. Go to simplysafedefense.com now for an exclusive 10% offer. That's simplysafedefense.com. The lining of your lungs is supposed to be protected with glutathione to neutralize incoming irritants. In the absence of enough glutathione, your lungs are more prone to irritation. Listen to the real-world results of one man using a powerful glutathione-supporting food. Hi, my name is Bill O'Brien. I generally suffer through an asthmatic breathing-type situation. My breathing is shallow and generally constricted in the nose and lungs. After consuming One World Away today, I have tremendous energy and also notice my breathing is free. I can feel the air in my left nostril and it is free all the way to my abdomen, which is pretty remarkable because I rarely get that feeling. Being a singer, I love feeling this unrestricted voice. The only thing new I've actually added to my routine is One World Way. Wow. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325. Or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. Your house is dark, vacant. You must be gone on vacation for a while. Thanks for all the jewelry. Don't be the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone is inside watching TV and makes your home unappealing to would-be thieves. Don't these people ever leave? Starting at $24.95 and there's free shipping. Go to faketv.com or ask for it at your local hardware store. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Are you happy doing your laundry with perfume detergents that irritate your skin? Are you happy washing your hands with stinking fragrances that gives your skin rashes? Are you happy paying new, higher prices for smaller boxes? Find your happiness today with our one- to four-year supply of pure soaps or our one- to two-month sampler with bar soap, shampoo, laundry, and dish soap at fivestarsoap.com. You deserve the best. Happiness is fivestarsoap.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. I have Joe Biggs with me. Of course, we've been talking uh, an hour ago. We were talking about his personal experiences, uh, seeing what the U.S. military was doing abroad with torture because that's a key component of this that's missing and that is they can tell us about the techniques that are going on but we need to hear from the individuals who are tortured we need to see the people who did it punished we need to understand that this is a fraud and yet this senate report that goes out is merely 
removing blame from anybody that could be punished for this and placing it solely on the CIA, which I think the real takeaway from this report is that the CIA is clearly above the law. They can put everything on the CIA, say the CIA deceived everybody, they mismanaged it, it was ineffective, they lied to the public, they lied to uh, Congress saying that they were getting real intelligence from it. Of course, part of that lie was the Zero Dark Thirty movie that came out. It opens with a uh, graphic scenes of enhanced interrogation, as they call it, and then showing that that intelligence is leading to the uh, capture of bin Laden. Everything about that, of course, is a lie. I think it's interesting that was Sony that's now getting uh, hacked. I don't presumably. even want to get into. I know we won't get into all that, that movie. I, I got up and left screaming. I was so mad. Yeah, uh, it so, was the biggest lie I've ever seen. So it's lie on top of lie on top of lie. But every one of these twenty items out of this report basically says the CIA did this, the CIA did that, and of course they're going to be immune from any kind of prosecution, any kind of real auditing or oversight or exposure. But then we started talking about this report that uh, you did at, at the University of Texas. You went out on Man on the Street, asked people if they would sign, uh, Texas students, if they would sign this petition supporting abortion up to the age of five. And we just showed what happened. And then we've got uh, PolitiFax coming at us and analyzing it. And of course, Snopes, who is apparently the arbiter of all truth. <laughs> who is Snopes? <laughs> It's a couple with a cat. <laughs> exactly. This article here uh, from Accuracy and Policy and Politics points it out. They say Snopes is run by a man and a woman with no background in investigation using Google. There you go. Now, you know, you don't need a degree in investigation to do investigation, right? But they are not the arbiters of truth. Anybody can go well, in. Watch out. You might get a, an alert text message on your phone saying that you need to stand down. <laughs> Exactly. I'm a big fan of citizen journalism. I'm a big fan of everybody investigating everything. Yeah. I think everybody ought to do that. So I'm not all caught up in journalistic uh, credentials or that sort of thing. But the bottom line is, is that they don't have any more of a line on the truth, any less bias than anybody else who's doing any research. They are not an objective source. They're highly leftist with everything they come out with. As you can see the picture there, uh, the uh, man and the woman and their cat in the background, I guess maybe, they, do they use cat entrails to determine some of this? <laughs> <laughs> Whether it's true or not, I don't know. But we're going back to this report. You were talking about the man with the, uh, the headphones being significant as to what they say in here. Yeah, well in the article right here it says, uh, by our sites, not everyone is paying attention. At least two students act while wearing headphones. Mm -hmm. Now, we can key up his clip in a second. You can see the gentleman has his headphones in, and he clearly is reading it, and he goes, oof, that, that's bad. You know, I'm not yeah. going to do that. So he had his headphones in, and he had a, a natural response that this is evil. I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where they get that from in their article saying that that distracted him in any way because he was clearly able. Yeah. You can, As you see can see that right now. No, He's looking at it. He goes, he says, I can't support Why that. Why can't you support stuff like that? That, that, that sounds awful. That sounds awful. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. All but right, he has well, headphones in, and I guess he doesn't way. know what he's doing. <laughs> you know? Yeah, pretty, pretty amazing. But these things are not unrelated. As I said before, it's having a respect for life, having respect for people, having respect for the sanctity of life. When they can go into other countries, as you were talking about, just go out and grab people out of the uh, community uh, in these foreign countries, bring them in, torture them, and release them. Mm -hmm. Or use the drone program, which John Brennan then moved on. He graduated from the enhanced interrogation torturing. John Brennan moved on to being legal cover for the drone assassination program, essentially saying that uh, it was necessary, that they were not getting any collateral damage. And he was rewarded for both of those things by being put in charge of the CIA, where he is now. We're not going to see anything happen in the CIA, are we? No. No. Just more torture and more of it moving here to American soil. Exactly. And, and that's the key thing. These are human beings. And if you can do that to human beings in another country, they can and will do it to human beings in this country. It's those rules of engagement that we now see happening on the street. This is what we see happening in the inner city. They're training the police to do this sort of thing. And we see that the Department of Defense, with their Section 1033 program, putting military equipment out there, they are desperate to get it in the hands of the police. So desperate that they would even withhold it 
from fire departments that they've been giving it to for 60 years. They who actually that need some, it. Who actually can use yeah. it, exactly. Who really need it. This is stuff that they don't need in the police departments, but they're training people to act like they have abroad. That's the scary thing about it. When you look at the NDAA, when you look at the bills that have just passed, we're going to be right back with some special reports. We've also got our special report from Leanne McAdoo talking about...